Rules of Curling. Greetings, fellow athletes. Today, we're talking about curling rules. So let's start. The objective in curling. One, the game curling has a lot of similarities with bowls and shuffleboard. Two, it involves sliding granite stones, also called rocks, into a target area at the end of a long, thin strip of ice, which constitutes the pitch. Three, the team required to propel the rocks closest to the center of the target scores points accordingly. Four, the path of the stone is continuously influenced by team members who sweep and brush the ice ahead of the stone in order to alter its speed or curl. Scoring and curling. In curling, an end is a set where both teams have thrown all eight stones. Two, after each end, whichever team is closest to the center of the house is awarded a point. Three, the points are also awarded for each stone of the team that is closer than the best of the opposition. Four, in order to score any points, at least one stone must be in the house, which is to say touching any of the circles or overhanging them due to the shape of the stones. Rules of Curling 1. Curling is played between two teams of four using eight granite stones. 2. The pitch is a flat, smooth area of ice measuring 45 to 46 meters long and 4.4 to 5 meters wide. 3. There is a house at each end, a circular target made up of a blue outer circle with a 12-foot diameter, a white circle inside that with a diameter of 8 feet, and a red circle with a diameter of 4 feet. 4. The stones used in the game are made of granite and handles are usually yellow for one of the sides and red for the others. 5. The weight of the stones is roughly between 17 and 20 kg, and they are at least 11 centimeters high with a maximum circumference of 91 centimeters. 6. Brushes and brooms made up of fiberglass and fabric or horsehair are used by sweepers to follow the rock down. 7. While playing, the players need to wear curling shoes, which are broadly similar to standard trainers, except that one sole is smooth to enable sliding. 8. There are times when players also use gloves, specific curling trousers, and a stopwatch to better understand the pace of the ice and the need for sweeping. 9. The team with the most points, after all the ends, wins the game. 10. Almost all the curling matches consist of 10 or sometimes 8 ends. 11. In case the scores are level after the allotted number of ends, then an extra sudden death end is played. 12. The scores are counted after all 16 rocks have been sent down the ice. 13. Teams of four take it in turns to curl two rocks towards the target area. 14. When the matches are played on an international level, matches have a time limit of 73 minutes per side with two timeouts lasting a minute each. 15. In case of a tie, 10 minutes and one timeout are permitted per extra end. 16. The stone must be released in a way that its front edge crosses a line called the hog. 17. Foul throws are removed from the ice before they've come to rest or in contact with another rock. 18. Sweeping can be done by either team member up to the tee line. After the tee, one player from the opposing side may also sweep. 19. In case the stone is touched or moved by the player or their broom when in play, will either be replaced or removed depending on the situation. 20. In the beginning, either a coin toss, draw to the button, or Olympic records are checked that decides which team will go first. 21. The team that failed to score in the previous end has the advantage of going last, called the hammer throw. 22. A team has a choice of conceding if they think they cannot win, although it might depend on the kind of event they're participating in, because in certain events, they have to wait until a certain number of ends before they can concede. 23. Since fair play is of huge importance in curling, there is a culture of self-refereeing with regards to fouls. That's This is it, folks. Make sure you thoroughly go through these rules before participating. Share with us your experience in the comments section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.